In this AK Zolotl guide, we are going to go over the NPCs that you will unlock in your hub, exactly when they unlock and how to unlock them. Let's get into it right now. A quick point I'm going to make is you don't actually have to beat the game or anything like that to have NPCs show up. I've seen some false information on the internet and I just want to clear that up. That's not true. Uh, so let's get into it. Nugget, the chicken here, is the first NPC you're going to really encounter. And they don't really do anything too special, but they do carry the Axopedia, and that's going to log all your different critters that you find. Not really an NPC, but the next thing you're going to unlock is the cooking pot. And to unlock this, you need to nurture one of your baby Axolittles up to a teenager. And once you do that, this will unlock... And once it unlocks, you can cook meals and feed them to your teenager, and then they will be fully grown, and they will have a certain set of stats that comes with the specified meal. Next up is the Bliss Taker, and this one's also pretty quick to unlock. You will unlock this character three runs after you hatch your first Axolittle egg. So it doesn't have to be full runs, just you can go out, you can die. Three runs after you've hatched an egg, this guy will unlock. And the way he operates is you're going to carry your little happy little babies over here when their their happiness meter is filling up. You'll drop them here. It'll give you some hearts that you can spend to buy permanent upgrades. Dropping Doggo is the next one that you'll likely unlock, and it takes five runs. You don't have to win. Just go out, have fun, and die. And after five runs... The drop and doggo will arrive at the hub, and that is where you buy new relics that you can use. Bababoon is the next unlocked NPC, and it takes seven runs. Again, you do not need to beat anything. You just go out and die, or maybe you do win. I don't know, but the, it will unlock after seven runs, and this one has a journal that keeps track of all the enemies you've encountered, all the weapons you've unlocked, all the items that you've got. So seven runs, and that one unlocks. Lastly is Small Paws Dealer, and this NPC unlocks after your ninth run. No conditions, you just have to complete nine runs, and then they will appear at the hub. And when they do appear, this is where you buy new weapons so that you can encounter them in your runs. But as you can see, before you even hit your 10th run, you'll likely have every single NPC unlocked in this game. You don't even have to be good at it, and you can get them all unlocked fairly quickly. That's all I've got for you in this guide today. Hopefully this was some help. If it was some help, make a happy axolotl by dropping a like on the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.